it is Jawsa here, and today I am doing another video, and I'm sorry it's been two weeks, but as I said, like, the first week was work experience, so I wasn't going to be doing videos, so that's that. But this is a new week, it's the last week of school, and I'm pumped, and this is going to be a new video, and in this video, we are going to be talking about FIFA 18, as you can talk, yeah, not as you can talk about, I'm new to it, I'm new back to this, so you can't give me crap for that, but anyway, yeah, so, yeah, as you can tell by the title, we're going to be talking about FIFA 18, so that's great. So, the first thing I want to talk about in this video is what, like, I'm expecting from FIFA 18 this year, obviously I'm a massive FIFA fan, and FIFA 17 has been my favourite FIFA by far, and I'm really, like, hoping that this year will even be even better. I really liked the fact that the journey was in it this year, and like, all the team was a lot better. Like, everything was amazing, really, about it. The only thing I didn't like was, like, like, didn't really like much about it, to be honest, but this year has been the best year. FIFA 16 was definitely the worst year for me. And I, I know probably lots of people are probably gonna disagree with that. But yeah, let's just talk about what I wanna see from FIFA this year. So, First thing I'm going to talk about is the journey two, which is the second part of the journey. What I really want to see is like, like I really want to see you being able to go to like any like any club you want to, and kind of like have a bit more like expansion on what you do in the journey. So like you want to buy a house or something, or buy a car, or like not play a match or something, and like make your own choices and like. It'd be really cool if you were like able to like type in what you want to say and like able to say it. Like if they could somehow like import like every single word for him to say, and you literally can just say whatever you want to say. <laughs> I don't know if I sound quite bad because you can be like you like keep or something like that, but still, like you can still it would just be a lot better if you could do that in my opinion. You could make you then you could actually tell it from your side on what you would say if you're in that situation, which I think would be awesome. But, yeah, like, in my opinion, it'd be really cool if, like, if you wanted to, you can go and play for Real Madrid and live in a mansion and have all these cards, and you could choose all that stuff. Like, if you could do that, it would be awesome. But, like, it just depends if, like, actually you were actually, like, allowed to do that. Because in this FIFA, like, in this journey, like, you, you didn't really have much choice about what you did. You just kind of moved to a new apartment and in a cutscene, and you had choices about what you wanted to say, like, you had a choice of three different options and like I really like that fact like I wish you could just type in what you want to say but like obviously it would take work it would take a lot more work but it would be a lot better like it would make the storyline a lot better for you right and in my opinion that's why I think it would be better but yeah like so that's the first right guys so the next thing I want to talk about okay is like the tournament mode you can do on there so basically what, what you can do and if, most people probably know what I'm talking about but on the um, on FIFA, you've got a, like a mode which is tournament. Basically, what you can do is you can do like, say, if you're doing it in the English version, you can do like the the council cup, and you can do the FA Cup and the EFL Cup and the Premier League and League One, League Two, and Championship. But like, what I really like, don't get me wrong, that's awesome. You've got all the teams and stuff. Now, there's only one thing I'd really, like, two things I'd really want to change about like this. So there's two tournaments that are not involved in like the game like that like you can do with men you you can you can't do ch the champions league which i would really like to see to be honest i'd really like to see them involve the champions league in fifa 18 and get that involved in the tournament mode like i will like i was always searching through and like maybe i missed it like you know maybe I, it's in another section but i looked and there was there wasn't the champions league and also I really want to be able to do a men's world cup like I feel like that would be another great thing to put in FIFA because you can do it with women but it'd be really cool if you could do it with men like I know like you, you know like I wish it was quite annoying because if you want to do a world cup you've got to play with women like I understand people find that a really cool thing but personally for me like this FIFA I haven't even played a women's match on there but like I played on the demo because you know I wanted to try it out and stuff and some of the, some of the teams are really good but like I prefer playing like with the proper teams like with Liverpool and stuff but I like, don't get me wrong, it'd be really cool if you could play as like the women version of the Liverpool team and like the Chelsea team and the Man United team and everything like that but like 
Because I haven't done that, like, you kind of only play with, like, the nationalities that they play for. Like, the actual, like, their, like, their actual World Cup team. Like, Spain, Argentina, like, as well as that. But, like, yeah, it'd be really cool if we could get to see that this year. It would be really cool if we could. And, well, yeah, like, that's really what I want to talk about there, because that's just something I really want to see in this FIFA, if we, if it can, but... Yeah, so... Alright yeah. guys, so the next part I'm going to talk about is Ultimate Team. Now, obviously, this is, like, the biggest, biggest part of FIFA. Like, you know, this is where you can customise your own teams, build your own teams, kits, stadiums, pools, whatever. And, like, it's basically where you get your customization. But, there are still a few things that I would really want to change about Ultimate Team. The first thing is, first off, I'd really like to change how much coins you get for each match and stuff. If, if, if you're like, I'm not saying that I'm not, I'm not like this anymore, I used to be like this, but if you're only to start depending on what team and you don't know what the fuck's going on, like, you sometimes put a bronze contract on a gold player. <laughs> I know it sounds really bad to say now, but if you're like a really unexperienced player, you sometimes do that. Like, I, I did that in FIFA 13 because I was a bit of an idiot, if you ask me there. But, yeah, so, I did that once, and then, I, every after every match, I used to have to buy new contracts. I always thought bronze contracts were good, but they weren't. So I always had to buy new contracts every match, and I never used to get any coins at all. But, what I'd really like to see is, like, if you win, like, a Division 10 or something, you get, like, what, 2,000 coins? Which, to be fair, isn't that great? So, what I'd really like to see, so I'm, like, kind of boost up a bit. So, like, if you win, like, Division 10, you get, like... 5,000 and then like Division 9 you get 6 and like carrying going on like that. So when you get to Division, I think if you win Division 1, like, you know Foot Champions, yeah? Like, that's amazing, right? I think if you win, you should get the same amount as if you get in the top 100 in Foot Champs if you win Division 1. Because that's like a good thing as well. Like, I reckon you should get like 200k or something if you... <laughs> I don't know that sounds quite bad, but like quite a hefty price. But I still think that getting across that and like being able to get coins a lot easier will be a lot better and people will enjoy the game more because I know that me being myself and stuff like when you don't have coins it's really annoying to play and you don't really want to play on the team <laughs> like at the moment I'm in a really good spot in FIFA like, I've got around like 70k coins at the moment and I've got like Inform Mane and Team of Season for Tongan and other players but they're like my main players I've got in my team but like they're, yeah, they're not my main players, but, like, I'm not struggling with FIFA this year, so I haven't struggled the whole FIFA, but, like, it would just be nice to see, like, from the less experienced players, like, to be able to, be being able to get coins without having to be in a retard, and, like, even if you have, even if you have to buy a Benz contract for a gold player by accident, like, you still have, like, you still have, like, 500 K coins left over, like, I don't know if you win a match, you get like 400 coins, 450 coins, and then the contract has 200 coins, you have 200 coins left, and like, I, I think from matches you get like a fat, like a K each match, like at least then you still get 800 coins a match basically, if you had to do that. I know you have like them coin bonuses and stuff and the catalogue and all that, but like, still like you have to like play the game low to be able to get that, but if you could just like get it more in Ultimate Team, I reckon that would be a bit better. But. Now, that's not really the only thing that like, I want to change about all the team. Or maybe like the price of packs, like, come on, like 125k packs. Stupid in my opinion, but like, just, yeah, like the price of packs, like, you know, if you could, like, if they could bring them down, that'd be good. But, you know, that's just my opinion really on the packs, but that's what I think, what, what they're getting through for FIFA 18. They probably won't, because you know, EA, EA love money. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's just their, their policy, you know. They only employ people who like money, so. <laughs> but yeah, that's really what I got to say about the team. So that's me. That's gonna be the end of the video because I don't really think I can actually say anything else because everything else is actually really good at the moment. But like, yeah, that's really the thing I want to see changed about FIFA for FIFA 18. But anyway, if you have enjoyed the video, smash the like button. Let's see if we can get. 20 likes on the video if you can that'd be amazing and hit the subscribe button in the top right corner of the screen and click the video in the bottom right to see my last video
and I'll see you guys for the next video. Peace.